Hello, my name is Adam, I'm a front-end engineer at Callstack and today I would like to show you React Native iOS Kit. React Native iOS Kit is a library that we have created here in Callstack and it allows you to create iOS specific components in your React Native applications. Here we can see app.js file. This is the root file of application generated by React Native CLI. On the right, we can see iPhone simulator that has the application running. Let's see if it is indeed running by editing some code and inspecting the changes. Since we have live reloading enabled, we can see the changes straight away. The next step is to install React Native iOS Kit and React Native Vector icons as a de dependencies of our project. After that, we need to link React Native Vector icons. Okay, let's check if everything works as expected. Here we are creating a class app that will render contacts that we will, we will create it in uh, just a second. And every web we wraps everything in a team provider supplied by React Native iOS Kit. Team provider provides our whole application with a team that is injected with, uh, as a context to all child components. So it's important to wrap the root of our application with it. Of course, we got an error because we don't have contacts anywhere in an application. So let's fix this. Of course, we need to render hello world as a first example of our application. and refresh application. Yes, right now we can see hello world and the rest of the screen is blank. Having everything set up, we can proceed with the building our application. First, let's build a header of the app and the search bar for searching the contacts. Let's create a wrapper view component will give a style of styles.container and inside of it we will place another view with styles.topbar inside of it we will add some buttons later on now let's import button component from the iOS kit and use it within the top bar We'll use property inline just to make it look like a text without the borders or the background. So the first button button will have text groups. And the second button will have just a plus icon sign inside of it. Yes, that's right. After that, let's create a header of our component, of our application, of our view. Add a title to it. Here we can we are using title text component from the iOS kit, but we can extend it with our custom style. So let's add styles the title to it. Let's add a property font weight. And also a padding adjust it to the left like the crops button as well okay now we can add another component import it from the iOS kit search bar and 
remove it and place it below the title. So value of the search bar will be this dot state dot search text on value change property will called method this hello search change we also add property animated and with cancel to our search bar now we need to create handle search change that we call this dot set state and set search text to the string supplied by our search bar also we need to initialize the state of our component with empty string so the application will know where to start now we have a search bar when we focus it we could see animations and we when we type anything we can see the console and the clear buttons that we can use as well so that's it for the top bar and we can proceed now with the contact list having header and the search bar we can now proceed with the contact list so let's add a new component called list and we can pass this dot state dot search text as a prop to be used later on so search text is equal to this dot state dot search text let's import this list and create this file within the src directory let's import title1 to see if it works and export the list component yes now we can here see the hello from the list so to render the list of our contacts we need the, those data here we have I have created some dummy data of the contacts we have first name last name and ID of six contacts after that let's import group list and body component from the iOS kit items of the group list will be items that we will create in soon we also need to pass render item prop will be this dot render contact we can also provide we have to also provide group by property and a key extractor that will take an item and needs to return a strings. So in our case it will be item.id so the item will be for now it will be just data let's create group by method that will take item and return item dot last name and we will take just the first character of the last name finally we need to create render contact that will also take an item but as an object inside an object and it will return view the style of 
files.item. Inside this view we'll create, we'll add body, text component. Here we can display it item with first name. And in the second body component, we'll also add a style. We will display item dot last name. Let's quickly create styles dot last name. So create. Last name will have font weight ball. We'll also add slight margin left to add spacing between win first and last name. We also need to create styles.item that is this. So we will add Next direction row property padding horizontal and padding vertical as well. Right now we can yep everything works fine. So right now we can see the contact list with group headers A, B, H, T, Z and so on. Also on the right we can see all the alphabet letters as a section that can be clicked. By default group list have a sections of the Latin alphabet on the right and also key extractor should be item as ID as well so if we skip the key extractor prop we can we don't see any warning, so we can skip this prop as well. Right now, all we have to do is to connect this search text because no matter what we search, we don't see any changes in our list. So let's connect this as well. So we can take search text that we have injected here to the list component and now we can filter the data and return just items that person first name or includes this search text. or person last name includes search text. Now the list remains the same but if we type John for example we just have one result we can cancel it and go back to the whole list we can type A and see that we have two results and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed our video. Today I have shown you just a small part of our library. There are plenty of components more and you can check all of them in the repo, the code is below. If you have any questions leave the comments below of the video as well, we will be glad to respond in them. Also, last but not least, subscribe to our channel and keep an eye for our more entertaining content that will be coming very very soon.